Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss how we compare the two API responses by using Postman. Okay, so let's start. So we have, you can see here, we have uh, two APIs for dif different different versions. This is the Open API 3.0 provided by the Swagger. And second one is the Swagger Pet Store API version number 1.0.2. Its URL is endpoint URL is pet store swagger.io slash v2 and this endpoint URL is pet store 3 dot swagger.io slash api slash b3. So we have like suppose that one request post method same post method we have here right but their endpoint url is different now let me create same test using both environment and then compare the response so if i hit this we will get here the endpoint url so this is the url we need to use to post the request to add the pets so i'm going to create here new request so this is suppose that add pet v3 and here is the endpoint url method is the post it next it needs the json body so copying the JSON body and in the body section select the raw select the JSON and paste okay now request is ready so click on send button you can see getting the response now I need to compare this response with next API so here we have also the same method post method let's try this Click on execute. This is the URL. Copy the URL. For this request, we have only the body. Go to the here, add new request. Add pet v2. So it, this is v2 version. Now Select the post method because this is the post API. Go to the raw, select the JSON. Okay, here JSON body I am selecting same and then pasting here. Send the request. Here we are getting the response. Now we need to compare the both APIs response. Okay, so first add pet v3 will execute. So let's capture the response here and store in collection variable. So how we capture the response? Select so create a variable like JSON data and we can capture the response json response by using method pm.response.json so this will return the data let's print this and running the send request you can see we are getting the same data on the console let me run again response is coming here okay now same data response data we can send set in the variable like we have collection variable we can set up the data here so this is the response i had pet v3 response and then we can call here the json dot strip a string 
efi okay so it will convert the string into the json object that object i am storing in a collections variable under the add v add it v3 so let me send go to the environment variable collections variable you can see the response is added now in next api what we need to do we need to write the code under the test first to capture the response so let response be two and then we can call the pm pm dot response dot json so capturing the current request response and let me use another variable to get the response of v3 by calling the collections dot get pass the variable here add pet v3 pet v3 okay so now we are I will to capture both the response this is the current api response and this is retrieving from the collection variable at v pet v3 and storing response v3 now let's write the code to compare the test compare the both response compare responses function so pm dot expect is the method response b3 dot two equal json dot response b2 okay so now this code will compare the both json responses so let me run the second api you can see result is passed okay it means compare successfully so let me change something here in the first response i am going to change this id 11 so now if i send the request you will see here we are getting id 11 but in the next api in the second api i am passing id equal to 10 so it, this will give us the 10 response here getting 10 so test you can see test result here compare fail we are expecting this okay and this is equal to this json value so both json value is not different there is one node value is different okay id is different one contains 11 second contain 10 that's why test test is failing okay but if we have same id right we will get same response and then in that case it will pass yeah you can see this is passed so using this approach we can compare the uh, two uh, api's responses thanks for watching the video and please subscribe the channels as well as share this tutorial to your friend colleague and like the video